One of the most common motors used in motion control applications is the stepper motor. These are employed mostly in positioning applications because they have the advantage of being very accurately controllable. That makes for maximal precision down to fractions of a degree without the use of feedback components such as encoders or resolvers. Stepper motors are often operated open loop without the need for setting control tuning parameters as in closed loop servo systems. That said, some stepper motors accept closed loop operation for a design arrangement that can offer unique benefits over traditional servo motor based arrangements. Steppers are typically classified by the number of allowable steps they can be commanded to move. For instance, a 1.8 degree step motor is capable of 200 steps per revolution, as 1.8 times 200 equals 360 degrees or one full revolution. Of course, that's in full step mode. If operated in half step mode, each increment becomes 0.9 degrees and the motor can then turn 400 steps per revolution. Another mode called micro-stepping subdivides the degrees per step even further, allowing for extremely precise movements. Stepper motors can have permanent magnet construction, variable reluctance construction, and hybrid construction, with a variable reluctance types being least common. Traditional variable reluctance steppers have many stator electromagnets arranged around a central gear-shaped iron rotor. When any individual electromagnet is energized, the geared iron tooth closest to that electromagnet will be drawn into alignment. When the next electromagnet is turned on and the preceding one turned off, the gear moves slightly to realign, and so on. The term permanent magnet stepper motor often implies a motor with a can stack, sometimes called claw tooth or tin can construction, built for cost effectiveness to suit consumer grade appliances. Punched sheet metal parts form toothed or clawed cups surrounding coils. The rotor has an array of permanent magnets and the same number of pole pairs as the coils. As in all stepper motors, can stack motors run off electrical pulse trains to output mechanical movement. Hybrid stepper motors are more expensive than the other stepper motor types, but provide better step resolution, torque, and speed. In fact, hybrid steppers combine the best features of permanent magnet and variable reluctance type stepper motors. The rotor is multi-toothed, as in a variable reluctance motor, and contains an axially magnetized magnet concentric with its shaft. Teeth on the rotor provide a path to help guide the magnetic flux to preferred locations in the air gap. This further increases the detent, holding, and dynamic torque characteristics of the motor when compared with the other two step motor types. Stepper motor speed is proportional to the frequency of input pulses, so a wide range of speeds is attainable. However, while stepper motors can produce high torque at low speeds, they generally are well suited for lower power applications, not for those requiring lots of torque to move heavier loads. They excel where control of rotation angle, speed, and position is the top objective. A few drawbacks are that not properly controlling the motor can produce undesired system resonance. Also, stepper motors are generally not easy to operate at extremely high speeds. As motor speed increases, torque decreases. For two-phase stepper motors, there are two basic kinds of winding structures, unipolar and bipolar. A unipolar arrangement uses six wires, but current can only flow in one direction. These types of motors also require a unipolar driver. A bipolar winding uses four wires and current can flow in two directions, necessitating a bipolar drive. Bipolar motors are generally more efficient and can provide more torque than unipolar models, but can heat up faster than unipolar motors too. Stepper motors are generally sized according to torque curves, which are typically specified by the manufacturer. A stepper motor's low speed torque varies directly with current. How quickly the torque falls off at higher speeds depends on several factors, such as the winding inductance and drive circuitry, including the drive voltage. For more videos like this, visit Design World Online slash videos.